In this video, we'll talk about the three main things I like to do to fully explore a new city. In this case, Brisbane, Australia. Hello. We're in Brisbane. It's kind of cool because from all the vlogs that have been in kind of the suburbs, I am very excited to be back in the city. We're in a city where I haven't really been in before. So if you know me from the Sydney vlog, if it's a new city, we must explore it. But check out this thing first. People are climbing it. So I'm going to try to climb it. It's enough. Never mind. Can't believe within 10 seconds of being in Brisbane, I've already committed a crime. First impressions. Brisbane has this vibe that I'm very much familiar with. Kinda looks like BGC. High Street. Anyone remember? BGC bust. When I explore a city, I try to go for three main things. One is significant buildings like government buildings or memorials or churches. Two are museums because museums are pretty cool. And three, food spots or where people eat because that's where the culture of the place is really packed. Well, let's, let's try to hit those three today. I didn't know that we were actually on an area where I can immediately check off one thing. See, this building right here is the old treasury building. It was built during the 1800s and now it's converted into a casino. But more on that later. We're inside a museum, so you hit our first spot. I'm actually not sure what museum this is. It just said museum and then we went in. I think that's the first mission to know what museum this is. Museum of Brisbane. You guys remember the treasury building earlier? I just learned here that it's actually a building from the 1800s. It's cool that they preserved it and turned it into something more modern. Something that caters to the modern needs of humanity. That's why I love going to museums because you don't really learn stuff like that anywhere else. Photographs sometimes connected to them. So some of the buildings they had, like these ones, this was not down, so it's not here anymore. Oh, it's like the construction of the city hall. You can see some there and there's a drawer as well. So if you're an architect, there might be a few of these that'll interest you. I'm still pretty amazed how people get to preserve photographs, sketches, drawings of their building through time. Some of these buildings are constructed in the 1700s, but there are still pictures, there are still sketches, drawings of their construction, of their initial massing. Pretty cool. This part of the museum is kind of a simulation of of what the house looks like, but they filled it with items that they've preserved through time. Stuff like these are only seen in museums. It's a pretty it's pretty cool to still have a piece of history just just in the middle of your city. So as we're walking out the museum, we actually got to check a second part of what I like to explore in cities, which is government building. This is actually their city hall, their municipal hall. As we walk around, we got to check the museum. We got to check significant buildings. Last stop, food spots. So I didn't know that we're gonna check something twice, but we're about to enter the treasury building. Apparently this is one of the most famous food spots here because as we mentioned earlier, it's actually turned into kind of a commercial center. A food here, a lot of restaurants. Pretty cool. Still want to explore actual street food here. But yeah, another check on the significant building box and a check on the food spot box. Let's get to eat. I'm really hungry. And we're done eating, but continue to explore because we actually have probably explored just five minute walk of the city so we're gonna keep walking that is where we ate the opposite side that's where the museum was now we're gonna explore this side of Brisbane guys I can't believe this is an apple store we gotta go in right designed kind of in an apple way. I love how they still preserve the column, preserve the, 
the interior to still feel like I like Brisbane. What I love about Apple stores is they really try to integrate the culture of the city within their stores. I feel like that can be classified as one of the significant buildings. As I actually don't know what it was before, but it's now an Apple store. Pretty cool. We're at Victoria Bridge, it's kind of their famous bridge here. It's nighttime. We just went to the bridge, took some pictures along the Brisbane sign overlooking the, the river in our back. Actually, we're just gonna eat. Strolling is done. At least we check off the three things that when exploring a city, you should always check out significant buildings that are government buildings or churches. I don't know, some historic places, historic buildings. Second, museums, because that's where you learn a lot about the city. Third are the food spots, because of course you're gonna get hungry when you're strolling around. Plus, that's where the culture of the city really is dense because people love to congregate there, people love to eat, people love to express themselves through food. But we're actually gonna go to one last food spot. I'll see you guys there. We're here at the food spot. It's called Eat Street. It's basically kind of a food park that's composed of trailer trucks. I haven't been inside, but pretty excited to see what food choices are inside. So let's go check it out. Also, apparently there's an entrance fee of $2. So gotta pay that first. $5. Such a big, big plate. I'm actually kind of overwhelmed. I don't know what I want to eat. Huh? Kill Patrick oyster. How is it? Good. I think I, I think I found what I want. We want to order the Black Angus Rich. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> and we're here. Look what I got. It's an Angus brisket. I'm very excited. Let's have a bite. That's good. Kind of a bit sweet. But it's very fatty. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Try it. It's just look, 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 just look. It's just falling apart. It's just falling apart. After destroying that brisket, we went on and got dessert. I had like a strawberry yogurt with popping baba. But there's actual watermelon at the bottom. Eat it. All in all, this place was amazing. It has such a wide variety of food for you to choose from. Literally anything you can think of, they have. Plus, they have live music per area, which my mom seemed to really enjoy. <laughs> We're done. I'm outside again. The place was really, really great. There's a lot of options. I still have my drink. And I feel like this is a good place to end the vlog. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you are. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!